G'day you bloody dickheads, the vaping fucking bogan. Back once again for another Dinky Die review. How the fuck are you lot? Hope you're all having a bloody ripper day. Got ourselves something pretty tasty from the Philippines. The Calisag from BB Box Mods. Now I know there's been a few cunts waiting, waiting to see this one. And uh, they do custom engravings, not just for reviewers, but also for the fucking public. So I've got my beloved arsenal. Though in tatters our club, I will say that. My beloved Arsenal engraved on there. We need to sort our fucking club out. So dickheads, it's a fully mechanical, uh, currently in, uh, what do you call it, uh, parallel mode. So you can run it with uh, 218650 parallel, 4.2 volts. Um, but you can also run it in series mode. There's a series kit for it, uh, which will give you 8.4 volts, obviously before voltage drop and everything else. And you can then get these awesome little fucking boosters, which you then bung on the bottom here and you turn it into, that's right dickheads, a quad series or a series parallel, parallel series. Basically 8.4 volts, but with four batteries. So you're getting double the ma that you would off a normal series mod. Definitely turns it into a bit of a fucking beast, but yeah. Oh, gorgeous, gorgeous engravings, obviously. This is just amazing. Uh, now, this has been out for quite a fucking while, I believe, near on 12 months ago, or about 10 months ago, I think it was first released. Um, so this is, uh, this is not necessarily something particularly new, but uh, very, very nice. And we're going to talk about it. Anyway, before we get any further of this, let's talk briefly about advocacy, dickheads. Uh, it is boring stuff, but we all need to do our fucking part because there are corporations, there are governments trying to restrict and shut this industry down. We obviously need to band together to make sure that doesn't happen, not just for you and me, but also for the smokers that haven't found vaping yet. So please go to the information in the description way down the bottom and join the calls to action, join those advocacy groups and write your fucking representatives. All right, capiche, comprende? Let's fucking have a beer, as always. Uh, another one from Dayton Family Breweries. Found one I hadn't had before. Thought I'd better grab it. This is their draft. Classic draft. Yeah, haven't had a draft beer in a while. Well, obviously you got the old good old West End draft. But uh, I don't think I've had a craft draft. Craft draft before, maybe. Uh, brewed and... Uh, blah, 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 blah. They're located in Carrum Downs, Victoria. Uh, it talks about the brewery. Brewed with the choicest malts, finest hops, and world-class water. This beer is our bastard love child kicking and screaming into the world with a whole lot of heart. Oh, well, there you go. Nice. Yeah. 4.5%. Let's see how she tastes. Well, there you go, dickheads. As I was expecting, very clear in complexion, being a draft, fairly effervescent. You got a bit of head there and all of that stuff. And, uh, yeah, smells a little bit like, you know, you, your draft beer smells a bit fucking West End-ish and that sort of thing. Fucking cheers. That's not bad. If you're into your beers without much flavour, that's alright. It's very refreshing, nice light malts in there, but not heaps of flavour. Not much flavour at all, to be honest. Basically, it tastes like a lager. Um, it doesn't have anything really standing out to me at all. It's pretty average. Yeah, it tastes like a, uh, your basic fucking mainstream beer. It doesn't really have any of that crafty flavour. I, I don't really get any hops. A little bit. A little bit of hops in there. Malts are pretty, you know, just basic golden... Sort of maltiness. Yeah, a little disappointing. Anyway, um, refreshing though, very refreshing. What are we vaping on? Bit of Kano. I've still got the Kano going, dickhead. Sorry to bore you. Kano Fuji, which is uh, apples, peach, and a touch of cherry. Uh, pretty pretty tasty juice. I can't, uh, can't stop vaping it. So, yeah, sorry for the boring fucking pairing again. Let's see how it goes, see if we can improve this average beer. Somewhat makes it better. There's at least some flavour now. Mm. 
yeah. I think I'd give that draft a miss, guys, if you're looking for a beer. <laughs> Let's move on to the up and bloody close. Let's get down there. What we're going to do, break it apart, show you the sort of internals, show you how you switch it over to um, the, 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 the stacked series um, parallel. It's very, very simple and easy. You can just run this in a straight series mode without the, the stack tube as well. So um, probably won't bother showing you that because there is actually a pretty uh, simple how to change that over video from BB box mode. So I'll link that down below. But we'll run through all the ins and outs. Let's have a squiz. All fucking right, dickhead. So this is the box you get your color sag in, as you'd expect from the Philippines. Nothing particularly fancy, just cardboard. Open her up, you got your color sag, you got some little bagaroonies, little bits and bobs. So these are basically uh, what allows you to switch it over to series mode. So if you want to run it in series, you're going to need these parts. Uh, you get a nice little fucking instruction manual, which I really like. This is, this is decent. Probably one of the best that I've seen from the Philippines because uh, it gives you the simple photographic, look at that, um, visuals of how to put it in parallel mode, right? Such so a parallel. Then you've got your series kit here, which they've actually labeled S2, S1, S4, S3, S5. And then you've got series. And so this explains how to put it into series mode. So, you know, you put your S3 here, you put your S4 there, you put your S5 here, and you shake it all about. Um, <laughs> really good though, that it actually does this uh, plain and simple. And if that's not enough for you, you've actually got um, a tech support Facebook group here. You've got a video instruction already uh, up on the YouTubes for you. Uh, and you've also got, uh, you know, the booster kit installation video and even Matty Ice's review from Convicted Vapes all listed there for you. Um, which is great, you know, and, and a couple of warnings. So this is a really decent little uh, instructional thing. Tells you obviously uh, about um, parallel, you know, you've got your 4.2 volts and your 8.4. This is really good, I think. Now they were also uh, very nice enough to send me the booster kit. So it comes in just a little baggie like this. You'll get the booster kit, which they've uh, custom engraved for me, which just looks fucking the tits. Have a look at that, that's lovely. And on the back there, you've got the BB Box Mods logo if we can just get the camera to stay focused there we go uh very very nice lots of venting down the side pretty simple it's just a black delrin box right pretty pretty simple and you got these two little rods here which are silver plated copper rods um, which you're going to need for uh, running it with this big ass extension tube we're going to get to that in a little bit let's talk about the color sag oh now, the engravings on here, the engravings are absolutely incredible. Now, they've obviously done a little custom job here. Um, I'll run through the different options when we jump back up top, but they do custom engravings for everybody. It costs you, you know, quite a, quite a bit more than the standard mod, um, but they do do custom engravings, um, depending on what you want um, as to how it's going to turn out. Uh, simple, basic logos, I think, like this turn out best, but yeah. Despite uh, my club's situation at the moment with uh, with its fucking useless manager, Mr. Arsene Wenger, I still love you, Gunners. We'll get back there one day. Anyway, let's move on. So, beautiful engraving. Now, one thing I will point out is, um, I guess it's part of the process of, of doing the paint job. So, they do the engraving on the mod. Obviously, that's all sort of CNC'd. And then they, they need to paint it. But the way that they do the painting, because they, they obviously want to leave... The, the sort of higher, the, the stuff that's not engraved, unpainted, and basically where the engraving is or where the cutting has been done with the, with the machines, that's going to get painted. When I got it, it had this sort of weird grey kind of, almost looked like soap, like a, like a block of soap had been rubbed on here, and there was sort of grey little bits of muck on there. Um, it rubs straight off with literally uh, your hands or like a microfiber cloth. So you might get it and it'll have some um, some what looks like grey soap on the actual um, mod. It rubs straight off. I think it's part of the uh, of the process they do to keep the, uh, the black from getting painted. I think they cover everything you see in black with some sort of um, you know soap-like treatment so that when they paint it, it doesn't get painted and then they rub that stuff off and some of it hadn't been rubbed off completely. So I will just point that out. 
a little bit of a con, I suppose, but not really. It's just it's just part of it. So, uh, let's fucking get this show on the road, shall we? Up the top, you've got a lovely brass plate. So you've got Delrin as the body. You've got brass top plate. You've got a brass bottom cap. All of the contacts, these battery caps down the bottom here, they are all silver-plated copper. So very, very good for conductivity. And, and obviously, uh, silver less likely to patina. It does get a little bit of tarnish, but it doesn't patina like uh, brass and copper does. Really, really nice threading on the bottom here on these battery caps. Look, you can just undo them. Um, you know, these battery caps, they're, they're um, you know, they're less, um, they're, they're more effort than other, um, you know, battery caps, but they do snug up your batteries very, very securely. Um, as you can see, they're all very, very nicely machined and the threading was beautiful. So look, you know, some people don't like these battery caps. Um, it's probably not my favorite way of getting batteries in and out of a mod, but it's one of the best ways of keeping good contact with your batteries because you can telescope them in there. Rightio, uh, up the top you got yourself a 510 that is uh, standard threaded, so adjustment is just via screw it in clockwise, screw it out anti-clockwise, silver plated copper again. Delrin button over here with some really nice engravings. Beautiful. Um, yeah, and that's about it, dickheads. Pretty uh, sort of, you know, simple in terms of how you get your batteries in and out, how you put your Addy on there. Let's take her apart, shall we? So we're going to undo these bottom screws. Now, sometimes these uh, th these these rods will stay in there, okay, like down in there like that, and just the screw will come out. So you've got two screw sort of female threaded bolts, if that makes any sense, and then you've got these two male threaded rods. And uh, yeah, sometimes the rods will stay in like that, and then you pull the um, the whole top cap off, uh, the, the the top bit here to get to those rods. Sometimes the rods will stay attached to these nuts and come out. Either way, uh, what we're going to do, push our little fucking top out, out she comes, there is sort of the button switch part and then you've also got this bit here. There's the inside of our Delrin sleeve, beautifully machined. This is all just one big solid block of black Delrin. We'll put you to one side. And then you've got these two bits. So this is essentially your contact points um, for your uh, for your positive and negatives and your 510 and all the rest of it. Um, the way it's going to sit in there is with uh, this sort of situation like that. All right, and that's going to be running in parallel mode when you've got two 18650s in there. Now, if you put the booster kit on the bottom, are you going to leave this exactly the same? You don't change anything if you want it to run in series. Um, with, uh, with the booster on there, so parallel series as you might say. You leave this top section completely as is, and then you just bang in your, your fucking uh, your booster on the bottom here, and off you go. If you want to run it in series mode with just two batteries, so just like this, but in series mode without the booster, well you need to switch a couple of things around on here. Uh, like we saw with the, uh, the instruction manual, very, very basic. Right, so as you can see here, if we want to run it in series mode, what we need to do is put this S5 thing in. All right, so I believe this little little flathead screw here, he's S5. So we need to put him in the opposing side of this plate here. All right, so we need to put S5 in there. And we also need to swap out this plate here. All right, this one here in the bag with this plate here so that it looks like that. All right, pretty, pretty simple stuff. So all you're really changing is um, the, uh, the plate up here and one of these screws over here. And then you're gonna use the black Delrin female bolts to go on the ends of your, of your rods. So these rods here you would use, you would swap out this with this one here. I'm not going to do it now, dickheads, because there's a video I'll link down below 
um, that will show you how to swap it out into, into series mode if you want to run it in just a dual battery series mode. Now we want to run it in parallel series mode, so we're going to have two batteries, you know, essentially in the uh, parallel mode, and then we're just going to add another two underneath that to make it series parallel. So we're going to leave everything in the, uh, the top here in terms of the contact points exactly as it comes to run it in parallel mode. So basically you've got your uh, two big contacts here, they're going to go face down and we're going to make sure that our silver contact here is uh, facing towards the switch end of the fucking mod. We then drop in our uh, top plate, before we do that we need to secure our bars, parallel bars, then we're going to take our booster so we're going to insert the old booster roo in here. And then we take our booster rods and our plate, our battery plate down the bottom. Hold all of that together. Drop in your rods. And then tighten them up. And voila, we now are in para series mode. So 8.4 volts, but double the ma of your normal series mods because we've got two batteries working in series with another two batteries working in series. So parallel series. Essentially, you've got two batteries here working together and you've got two batteries here working together. Each one of these is delivering uh, 8.4 volts and it is a parallel configuration. So we're getting 8.4 volts across those four batteries gives you excellent battery life as well as huge power with your 8.4 volts. Before voltage drop obviously is taken into account. So we're going to insert some batteries now. I've got myself some uh, Samsung 25Rs. Drop in exactly how you would with your parallel mod, but you're just going to add two more batteries. All right. So you've got positive end up on the first two, positive end up on the second two, so you've got negatives on all four batteries facing downwards. Rightio, we need a series build now. I've got a Bonzi here with a series set of coils in it. We're just going to secure you on there, mate. We might swap the top caps over so that we've got some matchy match action going on. Bada bing, bada boom. There you go, dickheads. <laughs> this is a fucking weapon of a mod, I tell you what. Look at that. And and all just matching beautifully. Gold Bonza, we've got this lovely uh, drip tip here, one drip tip from District 5. A uh, bit of gold and black. you got that, that lovely you know, that drip tip. Speckled gold flakes with a bit of black underneath it. This is just, it's black and gold, baby, and it is ready to fucking rock and roll. And we have ignition. Absolutely fucking awesome performance with that para series going. And yeah, absolutely gorgeous in the looks department. This sort of Polynesian style tribal, you know, engravings. Just amazing. Just absolutely gorgeous. Similar to what they've done before um, with the punyol, although I think the punyol came after the fucking uh, Calisag. But uh, yeah, reviewed this one a while back. So yeah, again. Just amazing, amazing uh, engravings and obviously performance with this power series. Anyway, dickheads, let's jump back up top. Let's give you the pros, the cons, the price, and everything fucking else. Oh, oh, oh. Jesus Christ, this thing absolutely pumps, dickheads. Wowzers, yeah, if you like fucking hard-hitting mods. He, he, fucking, hey, look at this thing. It's a weapon. It's an absolute fucking weapon. Some cunt tries to rob you, fucking clock him with that cunt. Jesus, 418650s. Ah! <laughs> or, you know, it's just, it's just cool though. It is cool. It's like a fucking Uzi with an extended clip, you know, you're like, Very, very nice. 
how does she perform? Well, in series mode, she fucking hits. In parallel mode, she fucking hits. It's a hard-hitting mod. Either way, you fucking run it. I think this may even hit harder than the the hog. I think this this might hit harder. I know the voltage drop seems maybe just a tad lower because the batteries are stacked and there's less maybe for the for the voltage transfer. It might be in my head, but maybe this this hits the hog in terms of uh, a, a Paris series vape. Now I will point out that this is probably not the most practical formation for out and about. You know, it's a lot of weight in your fucking pocket. Um, it's also a lot of length in your pocket. Uh, yeah. yeah, I don't know whether that's gonna be all that uh, user friendly when you're out and about, but certainly around the house, you know, got your fucking Paris series cunts. Certainly going to give you loads of vaping time with the Para Series. The reason I like Para Series and the reason I love the Hog is because you've got you know four batteries working together to deliver you 8.4 volts rather than just two delivering 8.4 volts. You're getting better battery life just simply for the fact that you've got two extra batteries there. But you're also going to get better battery life because each battery isn't working as hard when it's discharging as when you're running a parallel series. There's more amps being spread over two batteries than there is when you spread it over four batteries. So you can run, you know, not that you would want to because, you know, a point, what have I got, a point three ohm build or so on here at the moment, is hitting fucking hard. But in theory, because you've got parallel series and you've got extra amps to play with, you could go lower. Like you could go like a 0.2 or something, which is gonna be ridiculously fucking powerful. Just so many watts if you do your Ohm's law calculations. But para series is even more, it's it's like you know going from one battery on a tube mod to a parallel um, you know setup. You've got more amps to play with, you've got more safety, you can run lower ohm builds. And the same principle with para series, you can run lower ohm builds um, but that's not really what you what you're gonna do because it's it's gonna be just too much. So a point you know three ohm build is gonna give me very you know low amp spread across the four here, but it's also gonna give me you know better performance because those batteries are working in unison together to deliver 8.4 volts rather than two batteries delivering 8.4 volts. It's it's simple maths. It's like you know running your, uh, your, 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 your eight cylinder engine is not having to work as hard to deliver 100 k's an hour as a four cylinder engine is gonna have to. Um, I don't know, maybe not the best analogy, but you get the fucking point. Fuck me, she hits. So, pros and cons to kids. Got a new beer. This video's taken me a long time. I've had to go through two fucking beers. I'm on a Hawker's XPA now. Uh, an extra pale ale, I think it is. Extra pale ale. Yeah. Anyway, pros and cons. Big pro for me is the, the engravings. You know, if you just get the standard fucking mod, the engravings are incredible. It looks amazing. Um, it's not going to be for everybody, but just the, the pure craftsmanship here with the engravings is definitely a massive pro. Um, the option for custom engravings and custom paint jobs, you know, not just for me, you know, a lot of time I get little custom stuff from, from Filipinos, but it's not usually available to the public. This, you can actually get custom paint, custom engravings on the mod and on the booster. I'll go through the prices and how that works in a bit, but that's definitely a big pro is being able to get fully customized, um, you know, components and a mod. The performance, definitely a big fucking pro, whether you're running it in just a standard parallel mode, whether you're running it in series mode, whether you're running it in para series mode, this thing performs exceptionally well. Those silver plated copper contacts, massive pro there, delivering very, very low voltage drop. I like the pistol grip. This little pistol grip here, it's one, one of the pistol grip mods that really does feel comfortable in hand. I mean, most pistol grips do, but occasionally get one that kind of doesn't really lay, you know, your fingers where, where they feel comfortable. This pistol grip is very comfortable to hold. The firing button. I like a firing button up the top, but I like a firing up button up the top even more when the side is shaved off, like you see here. This little cutout here just means firing the top fire button just that much more comfortable. It's a little thing, but when you don't have that step off, <coughs> excuse moi, you, it's not as comfortable to get your thumb up and around onto top of it. This makes it very, very comfortable. So I like the button, I like the throw on the button, it's nice and short, it's got a nice spring to it, but it's also positioned and it feels and it throws beautifully. 
Uh, what else is fucking good? The fact that you can get a booster kit for it, lots of venting on the booster kit, that's really nice. The brass and the gold and the black all work beautifully together. I think that's another pro. Um, really, really smooth threading. Beautiful machining on all of the contacts. All of the threads are just buttery fucking smooth. Absolutely love what they've done there. Uh, what else What else do I like about it? Yeah, yeah. I think it's just an awesome looking mod. I think that's all the fucking pros that we can we can think of. Oh, and the other big pro is just switching it between parallel and series. Um, if you're switching it, you know, just from the, the standard mod to the booster, it's actually really easy. It's just undoing two bolts and putting in a, a new set of bolts, you know? It's <laughs> switching out two, two components and putting on a booster. So very, very easy to switch and put your booster on there. But even when you're switching from parallel to series, I know I didn't do it in the video because there's a, another video, I'll put a link down below doing it already, but it, it's easy. It's so easy. It's just swapping out a plate literally and one bolt, one, one nut, one, one screw. There we go. One screw and one plate. Swap it out and it becomes series. So that's definitely a big pro. Cons. What do I have in the way of cons? In parallel series mode, it's very, very tall. It's very long. Um, it's very big. There's a lot of mod going on here. So that's definitely going to be a con um, for when you want to take this out and about. It's just not going to be very pocket. I don't even think I've got a pocket, you know, in the front of my pants or shorts long enough to, to house this whole thing. <laughs> it's definitely a fucking back pocket job. So the form factor when you're in para series mode is definitely not as user friendly and out and about kind of friendly as say the hog. It's quite a big mod even without the para series uh, booster on there. It's a big box mod, you know, if for just a dual 18650, it is quite large, you know, even if you just look at it just with the mod alone. That is a pretty fucking large, you know, mod you're looking at there. Uh, other cons might be that it has these crazy engravings all over it. It's very gold, it's very blingy, it's a bit in your face, and I don't know whether everybody is going to be up for that sort of um, configuration. But you can get, obviously, the custom paint jobs if you're not into gold and stuff like that. So that's definitely nice. Battery caps. Um, look, these are very, very you know secure and very easy, and I get why they've used them in this whole setup, because it works with switching everything out easily. But, you know... Battery caps, they're not as nice as something you can slide out um, or maybe loosen the battery caps and then slide it out, having to take the whole battery cap out. It's a little bit of a hassle swapping batteries compared to other designs. What else? What else? Little con in that I did get a bit of that sort of residue that I had to rub off. It wasn't a big deal. It was just part of the process of manufacturing, but I would have liked that to have been kind of done before I got it considering what these costs. But, you know, not a big deal, not a deal breaker, just something to point out. The other little con was, uh, again, just with the finishing, um, occasionally I found a little spot of sort of um, paint that wasn't really meant to be there. You know, it, it's meant to be black, but, you know, for some reason the, the painting um, kind of covered it in gold. The good thing about this design is anything that is raised up you know, anything that hasn't been engraved and cut out, so the, the sort of the, 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 the highest layer of this um, mod, you can just you can just rub it and you can get that gold off of those bits so that um, you can kind of correct any, you know, in inconsistencies. But I will just point that out there. Uh, you know, just a couple of little bits where I had to kind of rub off some, some finish or, or rub off a little bit of paint just to get that engraving to look the way it, it is sort of supposed to. Other than that, dickheads, I don't really have a lot to fucking complain about this mod. It's very, very pretty to look at. It's been exceptionally well engraved. It's got good design. It's got good form. It's got good function. Um, yeah, there's really not much else. Only fair. So, overall, dickheads, it's pricey. Even just the basic mod alone, yeah, it's, it's, it's pricey. Is it more expensive than other Filipino mods? Hell no. There are well more expensive mods from the Philippines, from the US, from uh, Europe. You know, but this is definitely up there in terms of uh, of cost. So I think I've waffled on long enough, dickheads. Uh, to sum up, I do really love this mod. It's not going to be for everybody with the crazy full-on engravings, but it is something very unique and uh, and different. And it does offer quite a few options in terms of customization, booster kits, uh. and all the rest of it. Excuse me, why? 
So with that, dickheads, I'm going to get the fuck out of here. I'll put some links down below, as I said, to where you can pick them up. Also, my Instagram and Facebook links if you want to check out what I'm doing outside of the YouTubes. If you want to support the channel, please fucking do hit the like, hit the subscribe button. They're both fucking free. However, this channel is independent. I don't accept funding, sponsorships, affiliate links, or any sort of monetary influences for doing these reviews. I want to keep it unbiased and rigid dig for you, the vaping public. But obviously, public support is required. So I've got a Bogan Brews juice line down below. You can check that out. Otherwise, my Patreon page is the best way to support what I'm fucking doing doing. There's prizes and giveaways and content you won't fucking see here on YouTube and all of that keeps me doing my thing. But if you can't do any of that, that's just fucking fine, dickhead. Sit back, sub on your fucking dicks off, sub on your fucking tits off, fucking paraseries your little butthole off until your hearts can fucking tent. I'm going to have a bloody good one. You dickheads have a bloody good one. Cheers for tuning in. Make sure you stay away from those fucking stinkies. Doesn't matter what it is, as long as you got something that keeps you off the fucking smokes. Cheers for tuning in. Cheerio.